Okay, um, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, a, a little bit about rendering. And this is an issue that comes up from time to time. Usually, it uh, has to do with you know, either print advertising or getting um, getting pieces, renders of pieces up on the web. Uh, and that is that is getting some transparency in your in your renders, meaning you want the background dropped out or or uh, certain portions of the render to uh, not be there when you save the picture so that you can composite it or, or put it up on a website and it'll match uh, with your background and all that good stuff. So we're going to talk a little about that and we're going to cover things that you've probably heard in, in these conversations. Uh, you know, the PNG files and alpha masks and what all that means, all that good stuff. So here I am. Uh, I'm over. I'm here in layer materials. I'll, I'll go ahead and click render and we'll take a look at a couple things. So, as of right now, uh, this isn't too bad. We're on a white, you know, just a solid white background, so this may work in a lot of cases, but let's say we're um, putting this on our website, and our website has some sort of colored background. We don't want a big white block. We just want the piece. So, um, so what can we do? Well, if we save this out as a JPEG, uh, it will have the white background. So what we can do is save it out as this PNG file format, and this is a this is a file format that supports transparency. Well, how does it know what areas to make transparent? It's uh, sometimes I like to think it's magic, but it's not. Um, you can see here if we come up here to the the uh, frame buffer or the the render window here. If you come up here to the upper left, there's a drop down box. Right now we're in RGB color. Now that's going to be the render. If we drop this down, you can see there's a few other things in here. If I go to alpha, you can see this black and white image. So if I save it out, if I save this image out as a file format that supports transparency, such as the PNG format, um, it looks at this alpha mask and it says, okay, everything that's black is now transparent. Everything that is white is uh, is here to stay. So what this is going to do is save out an image that has just my ring and a transparent background. So if I go back to RGB color, I'll need to save it from here. If you save, if you save while you're on this screen, you will see just the alpha mask. You you won't get your render. So you need to switch back to the RGB color. Click save. Switch this to PNG. And now we can do, uh, I had a render one, we'll do a render two. So save, there that is. So, um, if we look at this image, and I'll pull it up here. You can see that it looks like this. So this kind of checkerboard background shows us that it's transparent whereas our regular render would look like this where it has the white background so now you can take this and you can composite it onto uh, onto a different background or uh, just on nothing if you just want it to show what's what's behind um, on your website there so um so that's kind of uh that's kind of neat and uh, again, you just have to pay attention to this alpha mask and make sure that everything you want to save is in white and everything you do not want to save is in black, and then uh, and then save it out as a PNG. Uh, so there's that. So how do you how do you change this? So let's say that we have portions in here that aren't white or aren't black and we need to change them. Um, well, what you can do is when you're applying your your materials, we have a a checkbox right here it says alpha and there's an on and an off and you'll notice all of our metals our gems our pearls all that good stuff is set to on when you come over here to the ground plane materials it's set to off usually um, we assume that you want if you want something cut out of the render it's going to be the background so all of our ground planes by default the alpha is turned off meaning it'll render out black in the alpha channel if let's say you came over here and you wanted to use a pearl material as a ground plane and we'll come down here maybe we'll do this uh... Eh, why not we'll do 
we'll do white pearl here. So let's say we render this pearl material out. And uh let's render that. Oh missing my render window there. Okay, so so we render this out and all's well and good and we kinda like this neat little reflection and, and have a little texture to it from the pearl material. Um problem is if we save this, you can see it's all white in the alpha channel. So if we save it right now we will get the entire render, even if we save it as a PNG, because there is nothing black in the alpha channel. Um, so what we need to do is turn this alpha option to the off position and then reapply our ground plane and render and even though our render will look the same if you look at alpha you can see that the ground plane is now black so that's nice if you uh, if you want to cut the background out of your your images um, that is how you would do it